Hey there, how's it going? Welcome back to my devlog. First of all, I want to say that a demo of my game is in itch.io, as I promised in the last devlog, so go check it out if you're interested. Link down in the description, and you're welcome to get feedback. I'll be updating it quite frequently as I get more feedback. Today, I want to show you all the massive improvements I have done since the last episode, and also add some new features. The biggest changes are in the layout of the dungeons. They are a different size and feel more like a path you would traverse through, and it's optimal for CQC, aka close quarters combat, which I'll get to later. I also made its tiles a bit random, so it looks more real. In addition, I've also added blood into the game. I felt tempted to make it red and add a new color to my palette, but I think it took away from the experience. Less is more, at least that's what they say. The blood is splattered with a delay the further it goes, so it feels more natural. I also made a first boss fight, but I have to do more enhancements, which I'll do in today's video. I also fixed a few bugs and created a smooth dash that just feels right. I also added two new cool weapons, an assault rifle that fires three bullets per click, and an SMG that looks pretty cool too. So that makes for 8 weapons in total as of this video. If there is a cool weapon that you would like to see, just let me know and I'll add it. I added the ammo amount in the HUD for both weapons that character can carry. Last but not least, the biggest change I have made is the bouncing back of the bullets when you hit them with your melee. Even though it's a humble addition, it enhances the experience making the game more oriented towards fast paced close quarters combat. To make the experience even better, I'm going to have the player have low ammo, and for them to get more, they need to get kills with melee, since it will give a higher chance of dropping an ammo box. Therefore, the player will have to think of when they use the weapons, and also it will create an interesting loop in which the player has to use their melee quite often in a bullet hell game, making the experience quite unique. What I'll be working on today are the enhancements of the boss fight. Since the character can just deflect every bullet that the boss shoots, which will make for a very boring boss battle, I'm going to go ahead and add some timed missiles that are launched every 8 seconds, so the player has to dash either way. Once I'm done with that, I would like to incorporate the options menu, which is very boring in my opinion, but there has to be one. I also want to make a death screen and victory screen, which is a must if I want to have the game on itch.io. And I also want to add some screen shape when the player is hit and some med kits. Furthermore, I want to give the enemy some knockback when they are hit. And the last thing I would like to add is the option for the player to use a controller. Just like in the previous video, that is a massive list, but I can try to accomplish all of it today. It's almost 1 p.m. and I've added the missiles, which look pretty cool as you can see. Now I'm going to move on to the screen shake, the death animation for the boss, and the victory and death screens, which would be pretty easy to do. It's 3 p.m. now and I've tried implementing the knockback, but as you can see the enemies don't collide with the walls, so I have to figure out a way to make them collide correctly. It's 5.30 p.m. and I finished everything except for the options menu. I also exported the project, so it's going to be on its that I own. If you want to support me, please give it a try and give me some feedback, even if it's super harsh. For the next devlog, I hope to have incorporated some of the changes the community wants, but I also want to add some decent music, which I want to make, not the crap that I have right now. I want to add some enemy death animations, I also want to add some more sound effects, more weapons, and further enhance the blood, and add the options menu which I haven't added yet. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. Bye.